Kentucky, is named after John Allen. John was born in Rockbridge County, Virginia on December 30, 1771. He was the eldest son of James and Mary Kelsey Allen. In 1779, his family migrated to Kentucky to John Daughtry's station in Boyle County. They ended up settling in Nelson County in 1784. His education started at home, but he enrolled in Bardstown School in 1786 and was taught by James Priestley. He returned to Virginia in 1791 to study law, and upon his return to Kentucky in 1795, he started his own law practice in Shelby County. He married Jane Logan, the daughter of Benjamin Logan, in 1798. Allen was elected to the General Assembly to represent Shelby County in 1800. He served in the House until 1807. Afterwards, he was elected to the Kentucky State Senate and served there until 1812. In 1806, he and Henry Clay were the defense attorneys for Aaron Burr when Aaron Burr was tried for treason. In 1808, he ran for governor, but was defeated by Charles Scott by a large margin, around 20,000 to around 8,000. During the War of 1812, he was commissioned a colonel in the 1st Rifle Regiment of the Kentucky Militia. On January 22nd of 1813, at the Battle of River Raisin, he died while leading his troops in battle. He was buried in the Frankfort Cemetery. I hope you enjoyed learning about John Allen, a war hero from Kentucky who was at one point in the national spotlight as a defense attorney and as a soldier who gave his life for our country. In 1815, Allen County, Kentucky was named after him, along with other counties in the United States. Don't forget to try out audible.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. Like, subscribe, and share this video and the Kentucky History Channel for more Kentucky History content. If you feel like it, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Find us on Twitter and Facebook at kyhistorypod. And don't forget to check out the Land Between the Meadows Kentucky History Podcast for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.